a bit pointless, all these protests about Tibet. Uh, why pointless? It's just really annoying. Why does politics have to be the centre of everything? Well, yeah, that's fine if you live in a democracy, but the Tibetans don't, and this is the only way to get their message over. Yes, but don't they live in a fair and more peaceful society now? Yeah, it's less feudal, but it's forbidden to display the Tibetan flag or the Dalai Lama's portrait. And anyway, when people want help, they'll ask for it. The Dalai Lama? I thought he was causing the trouble. He won the Nobel Peace Prize and has always insisted on dialogue. However, the Chinese offer no concessions when they meet. But a lot of people say the Tibetans have attacked the Chinese. Hmm, hard to believe when China has denied journalists entry into Tibet. Yeah, okay, but what's the point of protest if nothing changes? My friend, look at history. What changed apartheid or got votes for women? Protest changed it, not politicians. Well, you, my friend, are already supporting a side. Look at your computer or your MP3 player. Where's it made? China. And business with China is forcing them to be more open. No, it's not. The promised reforms haven't happened. Okay, but we're no shining example of a good democracy, are we? You're right. We have a less than illustrious past in the region. We're also in Iraq, and every day there is another corporate scandal. Exactly. But does that mean we can't believe in changing the situation? Okay, but in the end it's got nothing to do with me. I don't live there. This is not just an internal matter. It's about all people having the basic freedom to express themselves. Protest as well as business is a global issue now. Well, I don't see too many of my friends doing much. Don't be one of the millions staring at the TV with your eyes open but not seeing the truth of what is going on and what you can do. Doing nothing is not being neutral.